Our Brian Enton has been following this case, uh, and he is on the ground in Tennessee for us tonight. Brian, uh, there is so much interest on Summer's disappearance. For the last five months, it has created a lot of chatter and also a lot of rumors on social media. Uh, what is it like being on the ground there, talking to people in this community? Yeah, a lot of rumors on social media, Marnie, that's for sure. It's such a mysterious case. It's also very, very sensitive. And you realize that when you're here. This is a rural part of Tennessee. Sort of everyone knows everyone. There are a lot of people that, frankly, did not want us to come here, and they don't want anyone from the outside here digging into the case. But the bottom line is Summer Wells has now been missing for five months. Today, is the five month anniversary. Again, strange circumstances basically just vanished from her home uh, while her mother was there and her younger brothers and her grandma also on the property. And up until this point, law enforcement say uh, they have no leads. Ryan, Summer's parents haven't done a whole lot of interviews apart from that Dr. Phil interview we just showed. I know that you were in touch with them today. What are they saying? Yeah, it was a challenge uh, talking to them today, but we finally sort of made it happen just within the last couple of hours. Earlier this evening, we talked to Don Wells, uh, Summer's dad. Uh, Candace Wells, the mother, uh, would not come down and talk to us. They would not allow us on their property. We're going to show you all of that, show you the entire exchange tomorrow night uh, on News Nation. But uh, what they say is that Candace, the mother, is extremely emotional right now. Obviously, she has been through a lot over the last five months. Uh, she just was on Dr. Phil. Uh, they said it was even a struggle getting her to go doc to Dr. Phil because she's been so upset about everything that's gone on. But obviously, uh, anyone following this case uh, ha has a lot of questions for her and for uh, the father, Don. Uh, here's a little bit of our exchange from just a couple of hours ago. Is it possible that something happened to Summer that Candace knows about that's not her fault, but she is just nervous now and feeling bad about it? Well, no, because she knows better. She would know to go directly to law enforcement. An accident's one thing. She would never do something like that. She knows better than that. I know it happens. It does happen with people, um, but no. She would go directly to law enforcement. She'd call an ambulance right away, number one, you know, do anything. She would freak out. I mean, uh, Could she have gotten herself into a situation where she, it wasn't her fault, but. No. You know what I mean? No. 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 She was, uh, she's a good mother. She, um, she loves her children. She's not going to allow any situation like that. The biggest make sh mistake she might have made is maybe choosing some wrong friends, which is, you know, it happens. Hmm. It was interesting there. He said she made some wrong friends. We talked a lot more about that. It was a long conversation. Uh, we're going to have it all for you coming up tomorrow night. Marnie? I look forward to that. Choosing some wrong friends. Uh, Brian, before I let you go, police say this is still a priority, uh, one of the biggest cases that they have covered. Uh, they're still trying to find out what happened to Summer. What's your plan to talk to police? Yeah, we also plan to talk to the sheriff tomorrow. We know that while there are uh, no new leads, there have been things happening behind the scenes, we're told. Uh, so we're expecting to get some kind of update tomorrow on the investigation. All right, Brian Enton in Tennessee tonight. Brian, we'll see you tomorrow for that. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.